couple of the big stories today in the news, the mail bombs, I think we're up to nine separate mail bombings going on, prominent Democrat voices, maybe anti-Trump voices. What do you think? What are you hearing? What's what's the latest? And I don't know any more than what's on the news. I actually was with uh, Attorney General Jeff Sessions yesterday, and although they're investigating, he wasn't at liberty to tell me that which he knows. Clearly, it's wrong. We, the Republicans, the conservatives, have been the target of this literally. Mm -hmm. Think Steve Scalise from Louisiana, my home state. So we are going to condemn violence. We're going to condemn it no matter from where it comes or to whom it is directed. Uh, there's no place for it. Uh, this is not Venezuela. This is the United States. I hope they catch the person and uh, arrest him and charge him with attempted murder. Attempted murder across the board, uh, maybe even further, maybe, uh, you know, hate crimes or whatever that, that it might be. Um, but it's got to be scary being a U.S. senator in this day and age, as you pointed out. About 16 months ago, Steve Scalise and a group of Republican ball players on a baseball field getting shot up, Scalise almost dying. Um, and then you hear rhetoric on both sides. Let's be honest, it's coming from both sides, but I'm just thinking in the last month or so, we had Hillary Clinton say, we got to fight. We have Maxine Waters suggesting that their, her followers follow Trump people or pro-Trump pro people into buildings and into, into places of business. Um, Eric Holder mentioned something like this. I mean, it's, it's not surprising that we're seeing some of these things metastasizing and, and scary events, but both sides are kind of at fault. Well, how do we, how do we tone down the rhetoric? Yeah, first we recognize that we're all Americans. We may disagree politically, we are all Americans. And I can tell you, I used to work in prisons. I was the doctor for, when I worked with LSU Medical School, I was the doctor for prisoners. I remember when 9-11 hit, the inmates were upset. They were angry, they were mad, because they were Americans, mm -hmm. and America had been assaulted. And I thought, here are folks convicted typically for antisocial crimes, and they are first Americans, and then they are something else. If we kind of think about us being first Americans, we're going to disagree politically. We've got different visions of where the country's going to go. Uh, conservatives think the individual should have the rights, and the left thinks that the government should tell us what to do. But after that disagreement, we should not assault each other. Not assault, and also we should play this out. Let the, let the protests happen, but that, let them be peaceful, and let the decisions being made on the future of the country happen in the halls of Congress. And let me add to that. There should not be an attempt to intimidate. Because right now we're seeing, I think, more on the left that if we can't win at the election box, if we can't win the battle of ideas, let's intimidate. And frankly, that is counterproductive. People from across the spectrum think, well, you're being thugs, you can't win at the election box, you're going to resort to thuggery. So I also think it actually serves your purpose better if you're respectful of a fellow American.